Good evening, folks, and a hearty welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you, one that will provide several hours of pleasurable relaxation and diversion for you and your family. Did you fail to dress up for tonight's show? No tie, an old shirt and slacks, a house dress? Well, don't give it a thought. We're glad you came as you are. We just want you to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Hi, Mo, it's me. How are you? Oh, I'm all right. Um, I, I thought I'd give you a call before I meet this new patient of mine. Oh, I don't know, some poor deluded soul. What was it my esteemed colleague said? He's out of his tree. <laughs> anyway, I didn't call you to talk about work. Um, I wondered if you fancied something nice for dinner tonight. Well, if you pick some things up, I, I can cook when I get home. Sounds good. All right, well, I'll see you then. Love you. Bye. It's me again. Sorry. <laughs> um, I was wondering if you could pick up some fruit. Um, I think we've ran out. Apples? Red. All right, thank you. All right, I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Hello, Johnny. I'm Dr. White. I'm sorry that we've had to keep you restrained like this. I, I believe that you got upset at breakfast time. Got in a fight with another patient, um, Jacob. Is there something you'd like to tell me? Reason why you got in a fight with Jacob? I'm here to listen. My dad. You want to talk about your dad? Jacob didn't believe me when I told him about my dad. Well, would you like to tell me what you told Jacob about your dad? Do you want to know? Yes, I do. As I said, I'm, I'm here to listen if you want to talk. I love my dad. It was just him and me. He was so kind and clever. He taught me everything I know. Literally everything. When I was little, he made me a garden to play in and I would climb up the trees in the garden and 
and look over the walls at the world beyond. I was a little scared, but I knew I was safe in the garden. Sometimes I'd hide up the trees and Dad would come into the garden and he'd shout, Where are you? Where are you hiding? What mischief are you up to? <laughs> and I'd laugh from up in the trees, but Dad knew it was just me. Then one day, years later, Dad told me that he'd taught me everything I knew. That there was nothing more he could teach me. And I had to make my own way in the world. And then two people I didn't know became friends with Dad. And they came to live in the garden. And at first I was jealous because he was teaching them and not me. But he wasn't teaching them everything. Not all the things he taught me. So I decided I would teach them. So one day, when Dad was away, I hid up in one of the trees. And I told the two people everything. Everything! Well, I, I mean, Dad told me I should share. So I thought I was doing the right thing. But then when Dad came back, he was really angry and he threw me out of the garden and he told me I could never come back and he never spoke to me again but he threw the two people out of the garden that came to live there because they'd listened to me it was all my fault I thought I was doing the right thing It's all my fault. Johnny, sometimes we get upset with our parents. You said that your father was angry with you. Perhaps Dr. If you... White, you never met my father. If you did, you would know how powerful he is. Have you ever wondered why your husband left you? Have you ever wondered why you keep making excuses to call your boyfriend Mo? Is it because you secretly think he's having an affair? But you're too scared to admit it to yourself? Are you Eve? How do you know my name? I can give you the answer. I can open your eyes. I can give you all the answers. Just like my father did. <laughs>